What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Beta Memoirs. And we finally got the data. Interestingly enough, it came in lower than expected, uh, which is a plus. It looks more transitory. But that being said, we did uh, push up quite quickly this morning, only to turn around and stall for the rest of the day. So what I'm thinking at this point is we do have Jackson Hole still in two weeks, which uh, is going to be interesting. There's been a lot of talk about tapering in September, but I don't think we're quite there. I think the numbers are still not there. Even Powell has stated this. Unless Powell comes out and says something, a lot of other Fed members are talking very differently. Uh, I think actually the, the Fed president came on today and he was talking about uh, deflationary. Um, deflation essentially is what we're currently experiencing. Uh, we have to see if that is true or not. If that's the case, we could eventually, tech will eventually start running again. Uh, we just have to be patient. And I know it's hard. It's hard for myself to watch the market just go sideways for days on end. Uh, most of the moves come in the morning and then uh, typically at power hour. Um, even power hour has been kind of dead, which is just the way everything is going on. Ultimately, uh, tonight, uh, what I wanted to do, I've been sitting in cash because what I wanted to do, well, I can't say I've been sitting in cash. I do have positions in AVG. R and also in Wish. Those are longer swings, but very small positions. Uh, nonetheless, I still have, um, I think digestion is what is going to occur overnight. I did have some continuation plays on US uh, PT, uh, which is one I did play today. UPS ST. I did end up actually capturing this today. Uh, I waited for it to to hold above here and got in and rode this up to the 72 mark. Uh, timing on this was actually pretty good because it didn't take very long for this thing to actually pull back. Right when I sold, this thing pulled back, uh, did pop back, and then towards the end of the day, it did run back. So it did have a nice little move. If uh, I would have been watching the dip here, but I wasn't watching the dip. I was watching some other different things. Uh, I was focused on coin a lot today too. <clears throat> which they popped and then they kind of just went sideways. Um, Bitcoin is still running. Bitcoin is doing good. Uh, actually, actually sitting at uh, 46,300. But let me get back to the SPY here. So the SPY, we're sitting sideways. I don't know if it's because of Jackson Hole. There really isn't any other things going on. There isn't big enough bad news to sink us. The variant stuff is great, whatever the case is. Lockdowns have been talked about, all that kind of stuff. Nothing is uh, cement and nothing is really pulling down the market in that particular arena. Now, you look over at inflation and with the numbers and everything that came out today, inflation is not as bad as they thought it would be. I think they were aiming for like 7%. It came in at five below estimates. So it's still high, but it's not... Um, where they thought it would be essentially and so being said market digestion tomorrow we'll have to see how it's going to play out and then essentially carry it from that point um, again a lot of sideways action is not fun i totally understand that like uh, the cues they took that major hit today and then they're just kind of just playing the plans uh range everything's just been playing range uh because of uncertainty but again even some small China escalation stuff, even the China stuff is, is getting old. I don't think the China stuff is really going to do anything. I think they kind of started um, around this time. They like to start to stir the pot a little bit and then they kind of just die off and then they come back and stir the pot a little bit and die off. Uh, and that's pretty much where we're at with that. Unless something dramatically changes. Um, inflation is essentially the key thing. And again, today, it's high, but not as high as I thought it would be. Uh, transitory is what it is looking like. Um, so it's just digestion. It's, it's being patient and waiting for the next setup. We did run really hard for two months. Uh, we can't expect it to just continue to run hard. Uh, I know even for myself, I have to tell myself that uh, 
quite often because it is um i get used to the market being so strong it dips being bought uh, again i've never seen the market this strong uh to where every dip is essentially bought and it just it keeps going but with that being said you also have to be very cautious and i've been very cautious because of that uh just moving forward as far as a watch list i don't really have a watch list again tomorrow what's going to matter uh, like i said bitcoin uh trying to give you a state of the market kind of uh, video here uh, bitcoin is still holding uh let's hit that 46 mark it might be actually consolidating ready for the next push up um, gold is starting to curl back up um, i have not taken a position in this um, only because i want to see what bitcoin does uh, i believe last time i was watching uh, bitcoin was actually pushing gold was either flat or selling so uh, the bonds, uh, they've been slowly melting off, uh, which is good. We want to see the bonds slow, slowly melt off and then market push up. Um, but we're going to have to see how that plays out. I mean, with the bonds, it really doesn't matter how it moves, just as long as it's not a dramatic move. The dramatic moves are what uh, essentially influence the market when it starts getting dramatic because it means money is moving fast out of bonds. Um, it causes fear in the market, and the market will sell off at that point typically. Uh, but being said, uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, oil has still been uh, trading sideways for the most part. Uh, it has been pushing back up, which is good to see. Uh, for the most part, Apple, all your big fang stocks, Apple, Tesla, Facebook, all just trading sideways. Um, so those are not your normally big movers. And normally it's nice to see them sell off. Uh, to kind of sell and base to establish a position. But it seems like now they're not even doing the selling. Uh, they're just basing. And that may be what it is, is going into the next earnings. We're just going to be perhaps a long basing period before we actually um, push up again. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. SE, um, nothing much there. Uh, Amazon, I'm trying to think what else there is. Amazon. Amazon actually sold off quite a bit. A lot of stuff is going into uh, support, um, into the whole thing. I know tonight, uh, Open Door actually crushed earnings. Uh, that could be a possibility for tomorrow. I have to see how that plays out. Uh, the earnings plays have definitely worked out. I know even last night I was looking at, um, last night, uh, Coin, obviously, Coin, had a little pump today, but uh, nowhere near what I expected. Uh, then you also had you, which is one I was watching, um, especially after the DD move. I was expecting this one to pump. I didn't actually catch this one. I wasn't paying attention to this one until after I had already made the move. And then it made a nice uh, push up after hours. And then the other one I was watching was, I was watching FUBU, but uh, that one kind of just sold off at open didn't really recover as much at open then i've also been watching uh, all the vaccines which is something i've been talking about the vaccines um moderna actually took a major hit today uh, i know there was uh, people i don't know if it was jp morgan or not but someone came out some analysis ca uh, came out and said that uh moderna was ridiculous and then it pretty much crashed from that point um i'm trying to see here where is moderna there it is yeah so it crashed pretty quick today it was quite high although um if the vaccine get boosters and all that start happening uh, moderna can actually i think run quite a bit but we definitely have to see uh, how that goes uh, but again tonight we have nio which i don't think nio is actually reported anything i don't think we'll actually get any information on this until the morning uh then in the morning you got uh, pellants here which is interesting by due in the morning those things are to keep on watch uh they have disney and wish airbnb sophie rockets uh tomorrow night tattooed chef so there's uh, quite a few there's doordash tomorrow night too uh, so we have quite a few tomorrow night that could actually probably uh, give us some plays into friday I think uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll actually see some more movement. Ultimately, that's what I'm looking for is trying to get more movement. Um, but I haven't seen that just yet. So 
uh, again, being very cautious, there's been a lot of fake outs uh, with everything that's going on. So as long as you're managing risk, you aren't going in too heavy, uh, stay with things that are moving, uh, I think really matters. So that is pretty much what I got for you guys. Um, I know I kind of rambled a bit in this video, but ultimately I'm just trying to, it's hard to make sense of what's going on. Uh, even um, I know the markets and I, I believe it was CNBC was, was even emailing, asking people to email them because they didn't know what was going on this morning, which is quite funny, but nonetheless, uh, the data uh, was good. So we have to see what happens from this point forward. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.